Boys, boys, boys. Okay, I've had a lot of questions posted to me and emailed to me on exactly how big is 1 and 24 scale. And you can explain to a guy that it is 3.65 times bigger. And they go, oh, okay. Because I have no idea what you're talking about. And if you say that something is roughly four times bigger than another model, it's difficult to put that in perspective. They also asked me quite a lot, how did we get to 1 and 24? Well, we had a constant. We had, yeah, um, this is LGB track that we use mainly. And this here is uh, Pico G45, which is a much finer, it's 250 um, profile, whereas that's a 350. So, we had a constant that this, between the rails, the gauge, was 45 mil. Our railways in South Africa is running on 3 foot 6 inch, which is about 1,066 millimeters or whatever. So, if you work that out to 45 mil, that means it's 24 times as big as the real thing. All right, so that's how we got to 124. We scaled from the gauge. We scaled to 1 and 24 scale. Now, they asked me, how big is the scale compared to what they know? Now, this is a HO scale, 1 and 87 uh, sugar wagon or chloride or whatever. Um, same thing. Now, this is 187. This is the scale we all know and love. Um, this is what most of us run at home. Uh, these are on 16.5 millimeters, which is which means basically the gauge is out, but we stuck to 187 because that's the buildings we get, that's the people we get, that's the cars we get, so we stuck to 187. Um, if you want to run this prototypically correct, you should run this on 12 millimeter TT um, tracks. Lots of guys do it, but not all of them because we are sitting with 16.5 HO track. And we've built layouts years ago before this was even an, an issue. But, okay, I'm drifting away. To get back to the scale size of things. So, 1 in 24 is roughly 3.6 times bigger than 1 in 87. So, if you take this now, and this is a brand new wagon I've just built. To put things in perspective, that's HO versus 1 in 24 scale. So you guys can see that it's it's quite a, a jump. It's a massive jump. And the nice thing with 1 and 24 is, where in 187 you're quite limited to what you can do to a loco. So stuff like this is um, just add-ons just to make it look busier, whatever. The scale is so small that, you know, all the excess detail in front here is not necessary because you don't really see it. Whereas with 124... It's a completely different ball game. That's what that wagon should look like in front. You know, this is all the the piping, the plumbing, everything is in here. It gets a brake wheel on here. This one I just painted, so we'll um, I'll do all this, you know, later once it's weathered. So that's that's all the add-ons and stuff. Also, over there, you can see a little garret. One, two, three, four, five, front from the bottom little green granite standing right at the end, GMAM. That same loco in 1 and 24 is this monster here. Um, so there's a lighter for comparison. You can see a big lighter, a big, big lighter. <laughs> a big, big lighter. It's a big, big lighter. Um, yes, uh, that is the comparison between that in the Garrett, 124 scale Garrett. That's a 22 kg behemoth. All right, and to put, to just show you further, this is my little collection here. This is a HO scale class 34 GM, one of my locos that I really, really love. There is its smaller brother, the 35. But for perspective, let's just put it on top there. That is the difference in size. So, your average uh, GM34 is about 800, 800 millimeters long, and they weigh roughly 6.5 kgs. I ballast them to about 6.5 kgs. Um, and this single loco here running on USA train motor blocks, this thing will pull 
60, 65 kg is no problem. So it's quite a big jump. And as I said before, as this is a Lima, you know, it's not necessary for cab detail and stuff because, um, you know, you don't see it. Whereas here, you got to build full interiors. I even put a little uh, on the gauges. There's, there's glass on the gauges and stuff like that, you know. Stuff like handbrake. There's the handbrake chains, which is quite a, a mission on these things. But that's all detail you have to put on because they're so big. You see it. And that's what I love about 1 and 24. You can go absolutely ape with detail because it is very tangible um, in this scale. So, yes, I hope that that sort of clears it for you. You can see there's a little HO versus a, a 1 and 24 scale. That's, that's what we're talking about, guys. That's why they also way way more expensive um i will do a video later of how i build these things so how it gets born where it comes from what goes into them that video will come up next week i'm busy putting something together so i can show you exactly how they are built and um yes then you can more or less realize why they are so expensive because they're hand built things you know you can't buy a 34 gm anywhere in the world unless you come to me. So that's the lovely bit about it. All right, so guys, I hope that's clear. I'll put this on YouTube as well, and I'll share it to Facebook. Subscribe, dudes. Subscribe. Thanks for the guys that has subscribed. Have subscribed. Has? Have. It's a stupid language, eh? Um, much appreciated. I, th I'm, I think I'm sitting on 130, 130 subscribers already. <laughs> so... Within the next 15, 20 years, I'll also be a YouTuber, and then you can buy your own bloody train somewhere else, because I will make money out of YouTube, you check. That's the whole, I'm talking crap. Anyway, so all right, next video, I will show you how they bolt, and how we do everything, how every little single uh, um, part on these gets designed, where it comes from, how it starts, and wada, wada, wada. Okay, dudes, so that's that for now. Thanks a mol. Goed. Tot ziens.